Hey hello people hope you all are at home and safe welcome to the fourth video of the series which mba colleges to apply for in mumbai today we are going to talk about sis college but before that here is the flow of our video and as usual i have given the timers in the description box don't forget our disclaimer so let's begin South Indian Education Society's College of Management Studies, popularly known as SIES Coms, is located in Navi Mumbai at Nerul. It shares its campus with other affiliated colleges of the SIES family, albeit with different buildings and infrastructure. Featuring in the top 5 MMS colleges in Mumbai, it offers the following courses. And here is the seat breakup. Well, as you can see, as of now, both MMS and PGDM are together, and there is no clarity of the impact of the AICTE notification on this college. Also, a little bird told us that the number of seats for MMS and PGDM core program shall be increased to 180 each. One thing to be noted here is that this is a Tamil minority college, so half the seats are reserved for them. beat any program that you opt for now let's come to the eligibility criteria as usual mms admissions will be entirely based on dte guidelines which generally begin by june and for your information the mms cutoffs for this college are 98 percentile plus through cet coming to the pgdm programs the eligibility criteria looks like this now 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 this would be the criteria had things continued to be normal However, due to the lockdown, the college has resorted to an online criteria which consists of a personal interview only. So the new criteria does away with GD and essay writing. Well, the process has already begun and many have already finished with this round. You will get to know the date of your personal interview once you fill the admission form. We spoke to certain students who are done with this process and we got different experiences about the PI. The PI is conducted on WhatsApp video call. While some said that there are two rounds of PI where the first PI is a normal interview and the second is where a topic is given to you and you have to give a take on it. While some others said that they faced only one round which had typical regular questions. More about this in another video. Here are some important dates. As you can see the last date for applying is 15th April which means you have to rush. The link for the admission form is given below. The PI dates will be immediately intimated to you as it's fully online and the form fee is rupees 2000. Coming to the even more important part, the investment details. As usual the MMS fees are as per the fee regulating authority of Maharashtra while the PGDM fees are as per the AICT guidelines and are on the higher side. Coming to your return on investment guys, these are your placements. We analyzed data, real data of some past years and here are some of our observations. The placement for PGDM and MMS happened together. Of course, the placements of the pharma and biotech program happened separately. The graph here shows placements of all 330 students. The college achieves more than 90% placements year on year. Coming to the placements of this year's batch, the batch of 2020. Now, before the lockdown, this is the insider's information we could get. Here's some news for you: the college on its website reported the highest package at rupees 18 lakh. However, our little birdie said that this is far from reality. This is a real picture for you. More than 70% of the batch so far has already been placed. Well, more than 200 companies visit the campus every year. like every other college recruiters and job profile offers are good now let's come to the financial verdict using the npv method for this the initial investment is the fee of rupees 9 lakh for 2 years for cash inflow we have taken the median salary of rupees 7 lakh per annum with no growth for 2 years and the rate of interest as usual is 7% putting these numbers into a calculation our npv is positive and now you'll get an even clearer picture according to us if you are going for a pgdm program year will be the order of preference for colleges based on roi 
So as per our NPV method, this is the second best option that you can have. Now guys, let's come to the qualitative analysis. We begin with the negative points first. As mentioned earlier, this college is a Tamil minority. So straight away 50% seats go to this. It has been observed that the cutoffs for the same are extremely low as compared to the general category cutoffs. This happens in both MMS and PG programs. This dilutes the student quality and the competitive essence of the program is lost. Well, the next point we can talk is the competition for placements. It is extremely high and trust me, you're not just competing with 330 students. Add this to the AIMA PGDM program for working executives, which adds almost 100 more students to the competition. Now that's tough. As mentioned earlier, the higher package offering should be taken with a pinch of salt because they're supremely inflated. Now talking about the good points, which we add, the college does a lot of certification programs, which adds value to the resume of the student. Also, the number of recruiters visiting the campus is very high. Not forgetting the fact that the college ranks in the top five under the MMS program. One point to be noted, the PGDM program works on a trimester pattern. So guys, coming to our final verdict, given the positive and good NPV, this college is a good option to consider if you can convert it, of course. It would be great if you get through the MMS program. Simple reason, lower investment. However, that won't happen unless the CET results are out. So for now, you can secure a seat in the PGDM program, that is if you are selected. Hence, our takeaway, go for it. Guys, please give us your valuable feedback and keep liking, sharing and subscribing. Until then, take care.